Hi, this is Andrea with FabricEnvy.com. Today I am going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do the basic stitches in crochet. Now I do own a fabric store, but I also really love to crochet. So I thought it would be fun to do a video tutorial on some of the basics, the simple foundation stitches that you need to understand and know to create any crocheting project. So. We'll go ahead and begin. You'll need a crochet hook. The size that I have chosen to use today is a 10 millimeter or N hook. This one is fairly large and I'm using a large one for purposes in this tutorial so that you can see my stitches better. A larger hook will make a larger stitch. I'll also be working with some 100% cotton yarn. I really do like the sugar and cream brand and you can pick that up at your local craft store. So let's get started. The first thing that we are going to do is create our slip knot. Now, this is the way that I like to do it. With your palm facing your stomach, drape the short side of the yarn over your first two fingers, wrap it around, and form an X. Then I flip my fingers over, and I take my hook, and I do under and over, and then I pull it through. Now once you've got to this point, you can pull on the long part of the string and that'll tighten that knot right up there. The next and most important part of crocheting is your tension, basically the way that you hold your fingers. And what this will do is it will determine how tight or loose your stitches are. So I like to begin by wrapping the yarn around my pinky and then I come drape it up over the tip of my index finger. I then use my middle finger to touch the knot here and my thumb to hold it on the other side and keep it firm. Then I keep my index finger extended here and that will help to tighten that yarn there. So let's begin by doing our initial chain stitch. Take the tip of your hook and you'll go into this space here, yarn over the top of the hook and you pull it through. Let's do that again, chain stitch into the space, yarn over hook, and pull it through. Into the space, yarn over hook, and pull it through. So we'll get a few of those made here. And one more time slow, into the stitch, yarn over, and pull it through again. So this is called a chain stitch because what it does is it creates a chain link look in your stitching. This generally is the foundation for all crochet projects that you will do and you'll begin most of them this way. So that's your basic chain stitch. Now we'll go ahead and set this aside and I have another piece that I have been working on and I've done a few rows here so this will help you to see a little bit better on how to work within those chain stitches. We'll get that hook inserted in there. I'll bring this a little closer to the camera. See how you can see that chain link right across the top here? So the area that we'll be working in when I take the hook and I insert it inside these stitches is you're going to insert your hook underneath those two chain links, underneath those loops. That's where you're going to insert your hook. Underneath and underneath again. So let's begin. I'll do my tension. Now, I've already taught you how to do the chain stitch. The next stitch that I'm going to teach you how to do is called the single crochet. So we're going to skip the first chain from the hook and go right in here to this second chain. We'll take the tip of our hook and go underneath those two loops, put the yarn over the top of the hook, we pull it through, then yarn over the top of the hook again, and then we'll pull it through both loops. Let's do that again. Take the tip of the hook and go underneath those two loops. Pick up your yarn, put it over the hook. Yarn over hook again and pull it through the two loops. That is a single crochet. So let's finish that across. Inside, yarn over hook, pull it through, yarn over hook and pull it through the last two loops. Inside, yarn over and pull it through the last two loops. So I will go ahead and finish doing the single crochets here across the top of this. And for the last one, I'll show you one more time. Yarn over hook, 
yarn over again and pull it through the last two hoops. Now we'll do chain one and turn our work. Okay, so see we've got that chain link still created here on the top and that's what we'll be working in again. That was a single crochet. Let's do a double crochet. To do a double crochet first, instead of with a single crochet, you go into the yarn first. This time you're going to yarn over the hook and then go into the second stitch from the, from the base of the hook. Yarn over, pull it through. Now you have three loops onto your hook. Yarn over again, go through two, yarn over again, and go through two more. So it's called a double crochet because you're doing a single twice. So let's try that again. Yarn over, find our next chain link, go into the hook, reach up and grab that yarn and pull it through. Yarn over again, pull it through two loops, yarn over again, and pull it through the last two. We'll do it again. Yarn over the hook. Let me redo my tension here, it's getting a little loose. Okay, yarn over the hook into the stitch, grab that yarn, yarn over, pull it through two loops, yarn over, and pull it through two loops again. One more time, around, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, two loops. I'll quickly go ahead and finish this row here. Now when I get to the end of the row, to create the stitches even, you always chain one at the end of the row, and then you turn your work. So we're going to chain one and rotate the work. Here we are again. We've got those nice little chain links on the top that we're going to be working with. The next stitch that I'm going to show you is called a half double crochet. This stitch is frequently used in making hats. Um, it's my favorite stitch. I think it's really fast and easy to work with. So let's uh, begin by creating our tension. Yarn over the hook, go into the loop here, pull over. Now three loops on our hook again, just like with the double crochet, but this time the difference is that we're going to yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops at one time. So let's try that again. Yarn over the hook, go into your stitch, Grab that yarn, yarn over your hook, and pull it through all three loops. Try that again. Yarn over into your stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through all three loops again. So we'll do that quickly here till we get to the end. And I'll show you slow again one more time on that very last stitch. Okay, here's that last one. Yarn over the hook, go into the stitch, Pull it through, yarn over again, and pull it through all three loops. Great. Chain one, and turn your work. The next stitch that I will show you is called a triple crochet. Now, I haven't seen this used very often in many patterns, but I have used it before when making afghans or blankets. It creates a much taller, longer stitch post. So, yarn over once, yarn over twice. That's how you get started on your triple crochet. That's the trick. Let's skip that first stitch from the hook and go here into the second set. Yarn over. Now we've got four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two again. So you pull it through those two loops three times and see it's created a really tall, long stitch. Let's try that again. Yarn over once, yarn over twice. Into the stitch and pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. Again, yarn over, yarn over, into the stitch, reach up and grab that yarn, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over again, and pull it through the final two. I'll finish these last two stitches here. it can be stubborn going through, especially with these big hooks. Oh, and look at there, I started to do a double crochet instead of a triple. It's really easy to go back though and fix it when you've made a mistake. You just drop that work and start back over again. Okay, 
great. So now we've got these nice tall stitches here. Let's chain one and turn our work. The next stitch that I will show you is called a slip stitch. You'll do this when you're joining two areas together that you're working on. So you'll go down into the hole here, reach up and grab your arm, your yarn, pull it through, and then you'll pull it through again. Let's try that one more time. Hook inside the hole, grab that yarn, pull it through, and pull it through again. Hook in, grab that yarn, pull it through, and pull it through again. Alright, great. And we'll chain one one more time and rotate that work. So to sum things up, I will do one of each stitch here on the end. Let's redo my tension. And we'll begin by doing a single crochet first. That last set of stitches I did pretty tight, so sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult to get your hook through. Okay, and then we grab yarn over and pull it through the two loops. Now on to a double crochet. Yarn over. Reach up and grab your yarn, pull it through two, and pull it through two again. Now a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull it through all three loops. And for a triple, yarn over twice, pull it through two, two, and that third time, two. And now for our slip stitch. Into the stitch, pull it through, and pull it through again. Those are simple crochet basics. Visit our website at fabricenvy.com for more tutorials. Thanks.